where you are. This is our king of Nigeria, South Africa. His Royal Majesty, Ezendigbo, South Africa. Upi of Ubindieze, Paramount King of Nigeria, King of Nigeria, South Africa. I want to ask Minister of uh, uh, Police, Sele, what is happening in, in South Africa. Minister of Police, Sele, what is happening in your country? I want to ask President Ramakosa, what is happening in, your, in South Africa? I want to ask the government officials of South Africa what is happening in South Africa. Why, why do you people allow, allow somebody called Tunane, Tunale, Tunane or Tunale, a criminal to be murdering Nigerians because in the name of he hating Nigerians? I'm asking you this question. Almost 15 to 20 Nigerians are in coma in class door, protesting. This man are working with the police of class dog and uh, protesting and killing Nigerians. They will be beating Nigeria, beating Nigeria, beating Nigerians, men and women, until you go to coma, until you die. They will tell you, Tunani, Tunani will tell you, if you don't want to die, show us where Nigerians who are selling drugs, they are living. Tunani and some police. So Good day, my lovely people. Welcome here again to my channel, Eleanor's Chronicles, and my name is Eleanor. My lovely people, Utulani of Sizobutola on Mojolab is finding himself in a compromising situation. So, according to ECT Press, who claims Uguti, their source, or one of their sources, happens to be um, someone who's um, very close to the situation that leaves Utulan compromised, being the girlfriend to um, some drug dealer, alleged drug dealer. Uh, by the name of Eunice Rat. Okay, fine. So, according to this Eunice Rat, it is said that Utulani and um, a group called Amapanyaza descended upon um, his boyfriend's house, and um, all he ha she was at the saloon when the this group descended. All she had was people's excitement when they recognized and they saw Utulani and she ran home. So when she got home, she found Uti Abu Tulani were inside the house, according to the lady. So uh, she's claiming what she had the boyfriend screaming from inside the house and claiming that they blocked her and... Um, refused her entry into her own house but then the house uh, the door was slightly open as she according to her claims so she says that allegedly she saw her boyfriend the alleged drug dealer uh pinned down on a chair with her pants pulled down and her and and his underwear wet and the guys who are with Tulane allegedly were screaming at the boyfriend, telling him to take out the drugs. But then they already had two packets, <laughs> allegedly, of drugs, but they were not satisfied. They wanted more. And the, the boyfriend allegedly was screaming that he does not have more. Ne? And... um. Upon this article that that's in uh, City Press and all its allegation, Mojolav uh, answered Uguti um, 
whatever Utulani and uh, the team did and his team did was within the confines of the law, yet they are still investigating because they need to know what, exactly what happened that led to um, ooh, this guy who's called Ukix. His, the deceased is named, he's got a nickname Kix and his surname is Fari. Uguti, they need to know Uguti kicks Fari. What led to him having to be rushed to hospital? Because that part is a little bit blurry. Ne? And um, Utulani subsequently, uh, sometime, I think it was sometime this week, he then uh, took it upon himself that he was gonna hand himself over to the police of which there's even a video go doing some rounds of him going to the police station. But when he got there, he changed his mind that he's no longer going to yeah, uh, hand himself over. Well, the reasons he did not give, because right now, understandably, he has to play his cards close to his chest. So he cannot just go around talking. You know, he might end up implicating himself and um, finding, lending himself in um, positions that he can't untangle himself from. Ne? However, what he said in uh, to the people who were the community members who accompanied him just for support, he said that... Um, it seems like the police themselves, they do not know uh, anything surrounding the incident that happened there. So then he's just going to leave them to do their job, you know, and get themselves um, acquainted to the case, more or less. I think that's what I deduced from the statement that he gave. However, for me, for me, I'm sure many are going to come for me for this one. But then, guys, you know, with a drug problem that we have in the country at the height that it's at, ne? I understand poverty and I understand Uguti. People are going to do whatever they're going to have to do in order for them to survive. But I can't be asked to mourn or feel sorry or be understanding where, or in the death of a drug dealer. Whether he sells two packets or whether he sells, he sells a kilo worth. Because, I'm sorry, if we lose one drug dealer, it means maybe there's two kids who then want fall into the trap of going the route of being addicts. It's the same way that I will feel when a criminal is down. Uguti. One criminal down, it means there's five people's lives who were saved just by that person being down. So, angas. And remember, we don't even know whether or not this Kixfari uh, guy really was guilty of what Abu Tulane are uh, accusing him of. But I am saying, Oguti, if indeed he was what it is, what Abu Tulane are claiming, then I'm sorry, but Abu Tulane, job well done. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And that is me being kind. Mm? For I choose life for me and all the kids and all our brothers and all our sisters out there. I choose life. One, one drug dealer down is a is a victory in my books. I'm sorry. You know, 
Then we have, and Utulan is going through a lot, guys. I, I seriously feel for him when it comes to this debacle. And I can just imagine <laughs> how traumatized it, how traumatizing it is. Because no one wants Uguti um, umpefumulo umundu upumele zandleni. That's, that's a heavy burden to carry. And I can just imagine how traumatized he is mind you this person is not a police officer is not I, I doubt he's even trained in that and even police officers the first life they lose at their hands rightfully so on duty saving another life that police officer can almost go mad it's traumatizing it's it's heavy so I feel sorry for Tulan and his team that um, they find themselves in the position that uh, they are in and it's going to be a very tough road ahead for them. And this is on top of Utulani having death threats against him. <laughs> Remember that the, these threats that are being held around uh, because um, there are king pins who would love to snatch his breath out of his body. You know, he's got Abo Igwe in the kingdom of Nigeria uh, calling for his head, calling for um, Abu Ramaphosa to pin him down, calling him a criminal, but not calling their own citizens who come to our country to do their shenanigans. They don't call them. Uh, they don't call them uh, criminals. They are calling Tulane a criminal. And mind you, Tulane is not going after Nigerians. Tulane is going after drug dealers. The two, they, they don't mix. Because on the show, we see him are going after South African drug dealers. We see him going after Nigerian drug dealers, Zimbabwean drug dealers. He's going after drug dealers. Hmm? If Nigerian, um, what ma call it, uh, the big kaulas of Nigerians are finding it good to know that people are being treated and fail. Call them home. Tell them come back home. It's as easy as that because seriously, <coughs> no South African has the right to move from South Africa and go to Zimbabwe to commit crime. What do you want Zimbabwe to do? Keep quiet and say, nah, let's be nice in South Africa. No. The law will have to be upheld and it will be the law of what? Of Zimbabwe. No Zimbabwean will agree to me to come to Zimbabwe and traffic their kids and then just smile and say, what can we say? What can we say, South Africa? Of course they're going to retaliate and say, sister, Better vamos out of our country because clearly, clearly, you don't want to be neighborly. We can't be losing our kids. Not to you. And you're bringing our country into disrepute. Hmm? And really, I really don't think that I will have a leg to stand on, not when they are. No country agrees to such shenanigans. So for me now, no, let's see. The investigation is yet to be carried out. We don't know what what happens. Uh, what happened? Uh, let's just hope that Tulani indeed acted within the confines of the law, so that uh, that can also empower us to keep on supporting him. I don't know, my lovely people, what do you think about the matter? Let's continue the conversation down in the comment section. Until then, please 
don't forget to subscribe share like support us as this is October because of but because we are in line so more cool for support to show, more cool for putting the initiative in the lab. So I look she's a woman, and the scenes are because of the second kind of cool number to come up for the girl. Turn out to that. What happened? I mean, it's around. Oh, no, 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 if there's any appearance so, if there's any appearance in the police station, I'm going to communicate with my commanders, my leaders, my leaders, so that somebody is going to shoot. If you have a drugs, it's okay. Ninja! 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 Yeah, you know, this is what you are, and this is what you are. And then I go to another thing, as I'm saying, in the corner of the Malimino, and the Malimino, yeah, just for another thing. No one. But, at the end of the day, Lento CNZ are in Because I believe so, Kelas Navazalam. So, Janavazal, we have to fight for the session of the So, as the ZT, I want to have a hold. But, since then, it's a session of the economy. So, I don't know what she's talking about. So, I said, I'm going to